Hey there. So normally during the week, especially on Tuesdays, I have been posting something that I call oil book. And usually they are small paintings that I do in oils inside of a sketchbook that I have repurposed for swatching oil colors, recording palettes, and doing small practice pieces. I am going to be working on a small piece that is not inside the oil book, um, but I still consider this to be an episode of oil book. However, it's going to be late because there's been a lot of things going on. Number one, I had a terrible computer update issue with my video editing software that I'm still trying to reconcile. Number two, it's thunder season or something here and I don't like to leave my computer on when it's thundering and lightning outside because I'm terrified that I'll lose my computer. And three, a lot of really bad men have been coming out of the woodwork in the last couple of weeks to give very shitty public apologies that minimize the fact that they are human trash that did things to women and other people um, that are subhuman. And instead of apologizing properly, they apologize that people's feelings were hurt. I'm, I'm a little ahead of myself here, but it's been a lot to digest because one of those people was someone that I considered to be my friend, and I had heard that he was very likable and nice, and so I had tried to see that in him. Boy, am I glad we weren't better friends, as it turns out. Anyone who is watching this who has ever watched a One Fantastic Week video is probably familiar with Sam Flegel, and he posted a public apology that was another lackluster, not really an apology for bad things that he did to women that he was alone with, women that trusted him, women that were his, his friends. And it really highlighted some things, but especially the responses to him that people forgave him, even though they were people that, uh, most of them were people that that apology was not for them. And I felt like it was time that maybe we go over a few things and maybe someone who needs to see this will see it and I don't know if it's really going to make any difference or if I'm just talking to myself here, but I, I think that there needs to be some things said. There is a weird culture at conventions these days. I've noticed especially with artists my age that it's a big party and we can be irresponsible and do stupid things because it's a convention. But the thing is that people have paid money to come and see you. People have paid money to come and listen to you talk. You should not show up drunk. You should not show up late. You should not not show up at all. You should not show up and proposition sex from students, people that are there to listen to you talk, people that are there to listen to learn from you, people that are there to buy your art. You should not be propositioning them for sex. You should never, ever, ever proposition a student for sex, ever. I don't know why it even needs to be said. It's never okay. It doesn't matter if you are a teacher in a non-traditional teaching environment like a workshop or a traditional teaching environment like a school. You do not ever proposition someone who is a student for sex. You do not ever proposition someone that you are paying to do a job for sex. You do not proposition an artist who is not accomplished as you are, not uh, on a same playing field as you are on, someone who is younger than you, someone who is less experienced than, than you, you do not proposition them for sex ever, ever. It is not okay. It is never okay. It will never be okay. And no one will ever in their right mind say, it's okay. I get it. You were just horny. That's not going to work. When I go to a convention, I realize that I'm a professional person and I'm there to educate and to share information. And I am not there to have a vacation, to have a party. I know it's fun to see your friends because some of us only get to see each other maybe once or a couple times a year, maybe once every few years. And you want to party, you want to get wild, right? But the thing is that you can't do that because you're there to do a job. And if you show up and you look like an asshole, that's going to translate into people not respecting you, not wanting to buy your work. And then when something comes out that somebody thinks that you're a bad person and you did something bad, well, there's going to be people around who are going to go, yeah, I can see that. As a professional artist, you should show up. You should show up on time. You should be consistent. You should work four or five days a week. You should 
take it seriously. You should treat other people with respect. You should respect your fans. You should respect the people that buy your art. You should respect the other people in your industry. You should realize that everyone around you is a person with their own priorities, their own feelings. They've all made financial sacrifices to get here. You should be nice. You should be kind, not performatively nice, not performatively apologetic. You should be kind. There is a bigger issue here where these men don't see women as people. They see women as objects that I can fuck and objects that I cannot fuck, And that is it. And they don't care about you. They don't care about your art. They don't give a shit about why you're there. They don't respect you. They only want to know, can I fuck you or can I not fuck you? And that's it. I'm sorry to put it so bluntly, but it's so obvious when you're talking to these men exactly who they are. Because they do not care about you. They don't see you as people. That much is obvious. I've heard a lot of stuff about personal interactions with these guys. I've had some weird interactions with them that in hindsight now I realize were just a symptom of a very large pattern of behavior. But overall I realized that they were generally very dismissive of me. And I think that's because I usually have my husband with me when I go to shows. And if I'd not had my husband with me, I don't know if they would have still been dismissive of me or if they would have been suddenly more interested in my work. And I think that that's a good barometer right there. If someone's a creep or not, if he meets you and you're alone and he's very interested and then he meets your husband and he's like, hmm, I don't really give a shit anymore. Well, there you go. There's your answer. He's a piece of shit. It shouldn't be like this. These people should be in therapy because there's something wrong with them. It's, it's not something that you can just apologize and then promise that you'll do better and then you'll get better. You have a personality disorder. It's not something where your friends can hold you accountable for it. You have to hold yourself accountable. You need to go to therapy. There is nothing that you can say or perform publicly that will make people that you've hurt actually really believe, like the people who've really been hurt, you can't make them really believe with your words that you're going to actually do anything about it. I cannot even understand this. This can't even be understood in normal terms by sane people because it's completely insane. Can you imagine? I can't imagine. Can you imagine if I had spent the entirety of this time that I have been working as an artist in various different fields? So that's like 16 years of my life. Can you imagine if I spent 16 years doing this and then one day I just flushed all that down the toilet in order to get my dick wet? Can you imagine how stupid you would have to be? If you're not stupid, then there's something wrong with you. And to do it over and over again, what in the fuck? Can you even imagine working that hard and having a whole community around your art and having a business that you co-own with another person and flushing all of that down the drain just to find out if maybe you could get it on with someone that you barely know, someone that looks up to you, someone that's paid to be there, to talk to you, to learn from you. I mean, Jesus Christ, have some morals. It's disgusting and it's despicable and it upsets me. It upsets me not just as a woman, but as a professional person. As a professional in this industry, as someone that enjoys giving people advice and seeing where they go with it and with their art. It upsets me because I have referred people to him. I have referred people to his classes. I have referred people to his podcast. That is disgusting. I have been physically sick for two, three days now. I'm losing track. I deeply, deeply apologize from the bottom of my heart if I ever sent you Sam Flegel's way and if he ever did anything remotely out of line to you, around you, to anyone you know, I'm sorry. I am so sorry. It's about to thunder here again, so I guess that's going to be it. But I had to get these thoughts out. It is never okay to proposition a student, an underling, someone that's working for you, a colleague that isn't as accomplished as you. It is never okay to proposition them for sex. <sighs> so I guess that's it today. So I want you, if you're listening to this, I just want you to be better to other people. Bye.